All right. Today we're going to jump right in, YouTubers, and talk about, make sure your mic's on, uh, rest days. If I think I need rest, if, you, if I think you need rest days, uh, and kind of the, the, the ideal training schedule or training split. Someone asked me about that the other day. And uh, so let's talk about it. There's a lot of questions people ask, especially the people who aren't making progress. Oh, they're, they're too worried. They're, they're so worried about this perfect training split. Uh, should I do upper lower? Should I do push pull legs? How many days a week do I need to train? Uh, push, you know, push pull legs. Uh, full body, whatever it is, some bodybuilding bro split. What is the best? And I always say I was like I used to think, oh, I'm a fan of like upper upper lower or full body, and I still think that's probably a good program for for most people. Uh, and it really depends on your life, your lifestyle, what you do. Uh, if you're an elite athlete. It's going to be totally different than everyday regular people. And then kind of recovery is kind of a hot topic with all the the crap that people tell you you need for your recovery, your ice baths, your chiropractic, your massage, your uh, sauna, Normatec boots, all that all that junk. And, and I just say junk to say junk, but um, some of it can be helpful, obviously, yes. But do you need that for recovery? No, none of it you need. Um, again, recovery comes down to your nutrition, your sleep, and your training, and stress, so stress management. Um, so that's what you really need. If you dial those things in, again, you might hate to say this, you don't need days off. You don't need rest days where you're doing absolutely nothing. Uh, can you take them? Sure, yeah, you can do it. It's your life, again, you can do whatever you want. And again, if you're, again, situations are situational. So if you're an athlete, yeah, an elite athlete, I uh, or even like high school, I, I can see taking days off, like especially if you're playing high intensity contact sports like football. Days off can be beneficial. But even on those days off, those rest days, do you really just need to sit down and do nothing all day? Most of us do that all day anyway. Uh, you're sitting at work, you're sitting at home, Stuff in your face with pizza and cookies and ice cream. Uh, watching TV, especially on the weekends. Football's on. You just sit around doing nothing. Again, most of us aren't active enough to warrant the rest days that you so claim you need. Where you do nothing. Um, like, And I find as we get older, you should do more. Do And that's good quality training. A lot of training is just garbage where you just crushing yourself going balls to the wall every day and that's even with the elite athletes a lot of and especially like high school and i'm not gonna say high school kids are elite some of them yes there can be elite athletes like lebron james in high school that's an elite athlete but that's one percent of the one percent ah uh, but again it's the recovery comes from your sleep your nutrition and having a smart solid training plan and do i think you need recovery days no no, you don't need rest, total rest days off. I think that's, and this is personal experience and for most of my clients, um, do I give them right? Yeah, again, I listen to their life and what they want. A lot of people don't want to be um, jacked and, and strong and fast and powerful. And that's fine. That's those people that can rest all day, every day. That's the people, I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to people who want to be athletes for life. People who want to be in good health. Uh, do something every day. It doesn't mean you have to go set some crazy personal record every day, lift max squat every day. You can. People do it. And your body, you'd be able, you, um, it's crazy what the body can do. Once you do it long well, enough, the body becomes accustomed to things. The body is pretty adaptable. Uh, so you can do every, something every day. Um, there's people who squat every day. There's people who lift every day. I do something every day. I don't go balls to the wall, like I said, every day. I used to. That led me to go on uh, not sleeping, not uh, eating enough, uh, testosterone crashing, those types of things. But I was also drinking and partying and staying out late too. So I wasn't doing the other things um, needed. But rest days, no, you don't need complete days off. All these influencers will tell you, yeah, three days a week. 30 minutes a day, that's all you need to train. And sure, the studies might say that, but screw the studies. Studies are done on 
I don't know, people who are morbidly obese usually and like not healthy in the first place. So yeah, for those people, that's a good start. You can get into it, start. And that's a that's one thing we want is people to start, but we want them to stay on it. And I don't know, I find that doing something every day, whether it's lifting, whether it's sprinting, whether it's I'm just some days I just crawl and tumble and roll and just move my body. Some days I just go for walks. It's all depending on how I feel. And but I'm doing something every day. I do plenty of sitting around playing video games. That's my favorite recovery tool. Sit around, play video games, or watch wrestling, or watch uh, football. Those are the best recovery tools for me, um, besides sleep and um, nutrition. Is I do plenty of that. But if you really think about the hours you're spending training, compared to tw- there's 24 hours in a day. Most people, what do you spend? Most people don't do any training or don't do any exercise. Uh, that's why we have what is it like 70 percent of people are overweight now. And I guess I'm probably considered overweight. I'm 160 at five foot eight, but that's going by the BMI, which is a total scam anyway, as far as telling someone who's overweight, uh, because that could be muscle. Um, So that's a whole other issue. But we are, we have the worst health. Our healthcare is terrible. It's all about preventative, or it's all about going to the doctor when preventative focus. The trainers, the coaches, the nutritionists, the dietitians. They should be the, the, the front line. That should be where healthcare actually is. Uh, people are actually trying to help people get better rather than, oh, wait until the doc, go to the doctor first and they'll prescribe you a bunch of meds and all that BS. That's not what we want. That's not how it should be run. That's why our country is super unhealthy and the big food companies that push all this garbage that people eat, the sugary cereals, all that junk, the alcohol, all that other crap that people eat constantly and it's looked at as the norm. And again, these are choices you make uh, in your life. If you want to do it, do it. I don't really care. Like, if you want to get better and you want help, I can help. I would love to help you. Um, but, again, as far as rest days, taking full days off, again, with the amount of time people are training is so minimal. But, oh, I'm training 20 minutes a week or 20 minutes two times a week. I need four other rest days a week. No, you don't. Um, do nothing. Go for a walk. That's the simplest thing you can do. Get out, fresh air, go for a walk, get some sun. I mean, get on the floor, crawl, roll, tumble, hang from a bar, do some pull-ups, push-ups. Do something. Like, it's honestly, something is better than nothing. And your body's going to feel. That's the thing I've noticed the most is I used to take, like, full days off. And my coming back in, it'd take me a day or two just to get back into training. Whereas if I'm doing something every day, moving my body every day, it doesn't take me long. My body just feels better. My joints feel better. My tendons, my muscles aren't as, I'm not as sore uh, because I'm doing something. And like I said, it's maybe I'm lifting four days a week. I'm sprinting three times a week, jumping three, four times a week. Uh, on those other days, I'm, I'm walking every day. Um, steps, I don't know, 10,000 is a supposed magic number. I don't no, if that's magic. It's if it gets you moving more, then it gets you moving more. That's a good thing. Um, I do more steps than that because I walk everywhere basically, unless I have to go get groceries and I don't want to carry bags everywhere. Um, but even that, I'll do that sometimes. People think I'm crazy because I walk in like negative degree weather. I walk to when I'm subbing at schools and like I walk a mile. Well, a couple of schools are about like a mile or so away. People think I'm crazy because oh, they ask me if I want to ride. No, if I wanted a ride, I would have drove. I walk because I want to walk because. I like to walk, and it gives me time to think, time to um, listen to podcasts and music and ponder my thoughts and just get some fresh air and move my body uh, because that's what healthy people should do. Um, And we're in such an unhealthy society. But again, resting, full days off, doing absolutely nothing. I find them counterproductive personally. That's me. You may find it different. Again, if you're like an Olympian, NFL player, yeah, days off are probably going to help you. But even those days, you probably go in and get their treatment or they do some mobility or regeneration work, whatever you want to call it, um, and just move the body a little bit. I think they do that too because it's going to help them. They know how much it helps rather than just sitting around doing absolutely nothing, letting the body get super stiff. And then they're going to have to work it out, take the extra warm up and stuff to get ready the next day. Um, and if you think it's just auto-regulating your body, look at baseball players. 
uh, the high low models like I like the high low model typically like a higher low day followed by a lower intensity day or medium intensity those types of things but basically you're playing every single day pretty much uh, and you're traveling so you're probably doing something every day you're probably moving a little bit the pro app the pro baseball players even college high school um, you're not playing as much but you're still playing a lot and you're doing something every day and these basketball players come up they're playing basketball every single day up and down the court jumping sprinting um, yes you can overdo stuff but I think there's a time and place that certain situations yeah it might call for rest if you're on vacation and you don't want to train yeah do that stuff do that thing make you got to make decisions for yourself I'm just giving you my thoughts and opinions on um, rest days in general just sitting around I'm talking just sitting around doing nothing active recovery I don't know if that's really a thing I mean your body's recovering when you're not doing anything um, but again most people do nothing most of the time so do they really need to rest and take a full day off because it's great for them no I don't think so um, but again those are my thoughts maybe it's controversial I don't know I don't care uh, but yeah I don't think you need to most people don't need to take full days off again Pro athletes, elite athletes, Olympians, maybe a different story. But I think you find most of them uh, do something on their, their quote-unquote off days. And maybe after the season, yeah, they take a, a week or so, just a month or whatever. I've heard of those. But again, they're you're not them, probably. You're not an elite athlete. Uh, you're like me, a washed-up has-been, never-was athlete trying to be athletic. Uh, stay athletic for the rest of his life and be able to do things and everything in life he wants. Do something every day. Like even during baseball season, I train, do something every day. I'm playing games three nights a week. Uh, go play basketball in the summers, those types of things. Just do something active. Um, whether that's pickleball or tennis or golf or whatever you like to do, do it. Train, walk, move, move your body. Uh, then you sit around. You... Your body needs something to recover from. Your body needs something to rest from. And most of you aren't doing anything to rest from. Uh, but again, there's a time and place because training has to be smart too. And coming on, the, thinking of the perfect or the best training split, I don't think there is one. It's the one that fits your life. I'm more on the, I've moved from like, yeah, I got to follow a strict Monday is lower body day. Tuesday is upper body day. Thursday is lower body day. Friday of that, from that strict schedule to Yes, I have an idea, a plan of what I want to do each week. I'm more weekly now because you can't really have a plan, especially when you're working with uh, human beings because I don't know anyone who's working with non-human beings unless you're training aliens, and then in that case, they can probably do a lot of different stuff. But human beings, we have life. Things get in the way. We get hurt. We get injured. We get tired. We have a bad night's sleep. We are stressed out from work or school or kids or whatever it is. Uh, we get sick. We miss days. So... Having that perfect 12-week, uh, 24-week, six-month plan all ahead of time is not going to work. It's not going to follow. Periodization is just, I think the best periodization is auto-regulating, just having something ready, being adaptable. As a coach, I have like clients, kids come in, and it's they're up till 3 a.m., especially kids, playing video games. That's going to happen. That's what we're doing. Yes, is it ideal? No, but it's going to happen. Or I have... Adult clients stay up like I used to till 3 a.m. getting bombed, getting shit faced. And that's all they do all weekend. And then they are just miserable, dra dragging. Uh, so, are we going to do that five by five heavy set of squats or sprints? Probably not. We're going to adjust. Um, <clears throat> so, having that perfect plan doesn't really exist. You got to be able to auto regulate, adjust. That's where having a good coach can come in. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to stick to the plan. You write it in pencil so you can change it when needed, adapt as needed. Uh, maybe you get injured, uh, break your left hand, so you gotta you can only do stuff with the right arm, or even you could still do stuff with the left hand if you have like a um, some sort of like an ankle um, cuff or something, and do stuff that way. You just gotta be adaptable. Um, so it's not just oh I can't do anything because I'm whatever. I'm injured or sick or things like that. We make too many excuses as it is. But I'm kind of, again, do something every day. Uh, something that's 
not going to go balls to the wall every day. Know your body. Your body will adapt. Your body will get, as you do things more, your body will get used to them and adapt to them. So you'll be able to do it more often. That's part of conditioning, um, getting in shape, having good fitness. But again, you go like, you know, one of those perfect plans periodized. So you join a group class, but you miss half the group classes. So that's not the plans specifically. Oh, this, this week, this day, that day, this day, that day. That's not going to work for most people because you're going to miss things. You're not going to have time to get to that gym or class or whatever. So you got to be able to adapt. Uh, and that's why I'm not a fan of group classes in the first place as far as like strength training and stuff. I think yoga and stuff, that can be, those are fine for it. But like cycling and stuff, I think that stuff's kind of dumb anyway. But that's just me. That's not, not my style. If that's your style, good. If it gets you in, into exercising and fitness and gets you going, good. That's good. That's what we want. We want you... Um, but my style of training is not for everyone. Not everyone wants to be look good and lean and athletic. A lot of people just want to be fat and happy and still they just a lot of people just go to the gym to go to the gym, I guess, and get sweaty and sore because they think that's good training. And getting sweaty and sore is part of it, I guess. Um, that's easy to do. Um, but again, sore doesn't mean it's bad either. Like my legs are a little sore today because I did some new movements on Wednesday that um, I haven't done in a while. So, uh, but again, to each their own. Whatever gets you going, I guess, is, is good if it keeps you going if you're working. But if you want to actually see results, you want smart training and having a plan that uh, fits your life that you can stick to, um, whether that's four days a week, three days a week uh, of, of like training and then doing something on your off days. Again, find what works for you. I like doing something every day. Again, right now my schedule typically is upper or lower for the most part. So I'll sprint and do lower body lifts. One day is more of a strength base. The other day is more of uh, speed. Um, and I'll do it. Uh, yeah, did I say upper or lower? Um, two upper body days. Again, one more power or strength. One more power and speed. And then I do one day that's kind of my athletic day. Uh, where I'm doing sprints out on the track, uh, more jumps, that's kind of these dunks. Uh, but again, I adjust. If, if I miss something, I miss it. Usually it's because of time. Um, then I'll just add it on another day or just adjust. And if sets and reps, there's no perfect sets or rep schemes. You don't have to lift all rep ranges, lift all. Um, you know, I do like impulses. I'll do 100, 100, 200 reps. Um, lift heavy lift often again find what works for you but there's no perfect training schedule no perfect split um, best split I think is do something seven days a week whatever you enjoy uh, lift a little bit sprint a little bit jump a little bit roll tumble hang crawl play sports do athletic stuff that's the best schedule walk every day um, and there you go that's that's the best right there um, sleep a lot eat a lot Manage your stress, enjoy life, do things you love outside of life, outside of the gym. What more do you need? Find a job you enjoy. Um, again, that's what I have. Uh, hopefully that helped, guys. If you have any questions, drop them below. Otherwise, we'll talk to you again soon. Uh, this will probably be on Saturday. That's when I upload it if you watch it then. Other than that, if you're watching it then, have a good weekend. If you're not watching it then, have a good day. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys.